first. He's like, nah, Jay's my homie. He's always been on my side, ever from the beginning. Always looking out for me. He's a better friend than I ever deserve. I won't forgive anyone who hurts him. Not even it's myself. But even though that bro is getting like a little bit of rage boost, that rage boost is short-lived because Daniel realized, oh my god. Bro, really finna rock my shit. What? What? How's it going, Squad Nation? It is your boy. And today, you already know, my boys, we are back with Lookism. Disrespectful moments. Oh my gosh. Y'all don't know how, how happy I am to finally say it, bro. Because it, it's been a minute. It's been a hot minute, bro, since I actually did a look at some disrespectful moments. Talk. And today, oh god, we got the good one. Cause it is the return of who I am dubbing the god of disrespectfulness. You I Daniel, not little you I Daniel. I'm talking big boy you I Daniel. I'm talking about big body UI Daniel, perfect body UI Daniel. Now, I have already covered UI Daniel in passing. Y'all know this. I've covered his most disrespectful of all disrespectful moments of all time of him soloing freaking squads, beating up freaking gun and goo. <laughs> and on top of that, on the top of that this man has just been shown to literally be an unstoppable force we have not seen this man not even once like ever take any damage <laughs> like this man i mean we have seen him take damage yeah sure but it's all but we have not seen him like really really take like some good damage like to a point where bro is literally about to be defeated i'm talking like this man is undefeated this man has not lost a single fight i repeat this man this individual has not lost a single fight while disrespecting somebody now all the other characters of the disrespectful moments i covered such as gun goo freaking um tom lee and a bunch of others there have been a good couple of them who have who, who have done some disrespectful shit but have lost low-key have actually taken a loss bro or have seen to have taken mass amounts of damage to themselves but this nigga ui daniel on the land we have only seen him take massive amounts of damage one time and he was still winning <laughs> so Without further ado, we're not gonna waste any more time. Let's just get straight into the disrespectful moment of this man, the god, what he just did. What 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 this man just legitimately did. Like just during the recent chapters that we have covered in Lucasum right now, bruh. And Lord have mercy. I'm about to hurt some UBL fans that shipping Daniel and Jay together so freaking hard. And Oh God, UI Daniels disrespectful. At this point, I'm not even, this ain't even a whole, this ain't, this is just moments. This is like a whole soccer, nigga. I'm not gonna keep, I'm keeping a butt kosher with you, bruh. This man, Daniel, one of his first victims in UI mode in this situation, his first victim is Jay. Now, as you can say, Jay is absolutely ecstatic to see his boy, his homie. His man, if y'all a BL fan and you shipping, you know what I'm saying, Daniel and XJ hard. Bro, Jay is super excited. About ready to touch my man, Daniel. But Daniel just <laughs> pushes this nigga out with just absolute force. Just knocks Jay back on the wall. And Jay is just shocked. Like, what? 
This cannot be my Daniel, is it? And look at Daniel, bro. Look at this man. man. Bro, I don't know what type of freaking drugs that this man, Ji Young, pumped into this man. But Brother Bear, bro, is looking more jacked than ever freaking before, bro. Like, God dang it. Jane is just stunned. He, he, he like, what am I supposed to do right now? Like, bro, man, J Dan UI is just going at it, bro. Like, this man is just ready to just ready to kill on god and jay is about ready to like you know defend himself and possibly fight against daniel and look at this man ready to get this man the boot this this big ass foot and stomp this man like he's a dang cockroach bro and jay is just ready bro but jay with his heart bro he cares about daniel so freaking much he just, he can't do it, bro. We can't fight this man. The, the bromance is too much. She can't do it. And bro, Jay literally lets his guard down. And just, bro, this is just a, at this point, bro, this is just a wash. Daniel's just destroying him, bro. Bro, Jay comes in for the hall. Oh my God, my heart, bro. <laughs> Like, my mans didn't even want to hurt my mans, bruh. He just wants to be sure that he's okay. He's just glad that he was all right, that he found him, bruh. Like, Jay don't even care. Oh, this hurts. But Dan, but you are Daniel say, fuck all that low shit. And pounce him back into the ground, bruh. Oh, God. Got OG Lil Daniel coming into the cut, seeing his UI form. And, bro, just seeing Jay just knock the hell out. Bro, like, it's just gone, dog. And Daniel even notices, like, bro, Jay didn't even fight back. He's our homie. He's our best boy. And you just beat him to a pulp like that? Nah, nah, you gone too far. You son of a bitch. I'm about to beat your freaking ass. But, bro, <laughs> Big Daniel just beats this nigga. I can't talk like, bro. Lil Daniel can't do nothing. Bro is just spinning, bro. Like frame one, but my man OG Daniel, he's he's not out of the woods yet. He's about to get that rage boost. He's like, nah, Jay's my homie. He's always been on my side ever from the beginning. Always looking out for me. He's a better friend than I ever deserve. I won't forgive anyone who hurts him. Not even it's myself. But even though that bro is getting like a little bit of rage boost, that rage boost is short lived because Daniel realized, oh my God, bro really finna rock my shit. <laughs> just kidding, smacked around, bro. Like, look at this is just. A <laughs> This is looking like a one-sided fight, bruh. Man, Daniel is getting bodied by himself. Like, goodness gracious. Man is getting pummeled, bro. Like, all Daniel can feel now is just the fear of death. <laughs> like, bro is rolling around trying to run away from himself. Like, look at this man coming in for the Superman pinch. Like, bro, this at this point, this is... Bro... Little Daniel's about to feel what all the other victims have faced before. Basically an unstoppable flipping force that just keeps on going and going. Like, bro. <laughs> like, look at this. But Daniel's inner consciousness of guns like, oh, nah, blood. You is not running from this after I trained you, my boy. And, bro, like, just look at you, I Daniel, dog. Look at you, I big Daniel, to be exact. Look at this back. Like, good. And Daniel's like, nah. My, my master's right. I can't give up. Or rather, I won't. I still have so much left to do. So much to see. It looks like you're fighting efficiently, adjusting your strength to match your opponents. Fine. Come at me. I'm going to fight you with everything I've got. And bro, and we see all of the abilities that this man has literally copied from this man, Jihan Kwok, Tatsuma, Gun, the embodiment of him, and Perfection himself, the legend, the, 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 the light skin, I can't speak, but Rizzler himself, James Lee, bro. My man is about to use all of these utilities to best this man 
UI Big Daniel. And I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna lie. This man, the little Daniel was going off. OG Daniel was going off, bro. My man's was actually showing the work, bro. Daniel was out beating himself. OG Daniel was being a perfect Daniel. Like, this is crazy. Bro, actually landing some good ass hits. This is actually insane. And then, bro, is like, I must respect my grandmaster. I must respect my teacher, my sensei gun. And I will plow you into submission. And, bro, UI Big Daniel is basically gone. And then we get James, the, the ability of freaking James Lee, bro, with this man Daniel about to deliver the coup de gras. But, dog. Even though that my man was getting in the, you know what I'm saying, the good hits and, and all that stuff, you got to remember. This is perfect body Daniel, dog. Perfect UI Daniel. And this man already adapted to what this man OG Daniel was doing. And immediately starts countering Bro, and not only that, starts using the abilities <laughs> I can't, bro, that he was doing on, bro, it, this, at this point, it was a wash. It was a wash, bro. It was over. It, like, it was donezos, bro. Daniel OG was just done, completely kaput. But the boys came through Vasco, Warren, and Jerry came in clutch, bro, already. And Warren's like, oh boy, seems I'm like finally about to face off against this man in his form. Are you going to be okay in your condition, Jerry? And bro's like, hey, I, I could ask you the same thing, my brother. <laughs> you you was looking a little bit tiresome as as we was coming coming here. But let me let you know right now. If we, if we, we got to be careful because this man is a demon. We're up against a monster of monsters for real, bruh. And look at this bromance with these two. They know, first off, I already know these two is going to straight up die. <laughs> two of them, including Bosco, because let's be real, bruh. We've seen the devastation that UI Daniel has done. And then we have Bosco trying to wake up my man, OG Daniel, because bro, like again, you, UI Big Daniel basically beat this man like <laughs> like it, it wasn't a it wasn't a good you know what i'm saying it was a it was a deadliest a biblical beatdown in <laughs> all of history bro and boss was trying to wake my man's up but bro daniel <laughs> oh geez max the f out of bosco and then we get the fight of the absolute century we get Perfect body UI Daniel versus UI OG Daniel talk. All three of these niggas basically had the exact same mindset. We is not interfering with this 1v1. Because if we do, the, 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 the fact that we probably going to get involved in this will be absolute death. And we just see both UI and Lil Daniel just going at it, bro. Like, it is insane. Like, like th at this point, it's looking like a straight-up stalemate. Each of each other are basically countering the other. Like, it is absolute insane, bro. Like, both of them just going at it. Like, both, like, both Jury and Warren's like, bro, we can't, we cannot, <laughs> we barely can, they're moving so fast, we, <laughs> We, we, we can't see where each of them are going at, at certain points, bruh. And Boss was like, bruh, they're just employing every technique that humankind has ever known. It's a bow between two machines at this point. And look at these two just going at it. And Warren's like, bruh, what am I supposed to be rooting for? But Jerry's like, nah, bruh. I don't know what I'm supposed to be rooting for. One thing's for certain. Little Daniel Lucen. And, bro, <laughs> I don't even understand... Like, bro, both of them are UI, but at this point, it's just a battle between power levels. Now, as we all know, little UI Daniel at this point, you can kind of see that bro is basically, you know what I'm saying? <clears throat> uh, at that level to like a, a first gen king, kind of scratching the surface of someone of a pre-gen literally, you know what I'm saying? Just a tiny bit. Bro, because like I said, 
both of these two, they both have copy abilities. Each, every last one of them. But UI Perfect Body Daniel is just basically going at each other's throats. But it's just a, it's apparently just all depends on freaking experience. And just, again, like I said, the difference in power level. And we get to see just how much Perfect Body UI Daniel, how much his co copy ability goes like we get to see abilities that you i perfect daniel never used until now we're talking i'm talking about we're seeing this man using up abilities that was during like the pre-gen i'm talking niggas like gabriel kim and even the evil brother of jake bro like it is crazy like at this point is uh, bro i'm not even gonna lie to you this man, you at this point, bro, it was all it's already basically borderline confirmed at this point, low key, that UI perfect body UI Daniel might be low key up there with the pre gens, bro. And at this point, little UI Daniel is just getting body, bro. They, like, there, there is just no competition, no, nothing. But little UI Daniel gets one more hit in, and both of each of them are knocked the heck out, bro. The, like both of them and all three of them just like bruh th that was just that was a fight but nah bro P perfect body ui daniel was not done this man just picked himself up with, like just nah nah dog <laughs> i'm gonna keep it a buck if if a man bro if a bro if a dude a, 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 a man literally gets knocked the heck out and picks himself up looking like this. I'm I'm not fighting him. I'm sorry. We I am not fighting this man. <laughs> you are Big Daniel's eyes. He's already ready for the next smoke. Got his eyesight on Vasco and about ready to boom rush him. But Warren's like, oh nah, bruh. <laughs> you ain't you ain't doing nothing like that. Tr just try it. I'm gonna beat you with the CQC for real. Just, just even try it. I dare you. But dog, again, as we all know, again, like <laughs> this is gonna be a wash between the three of them. Again, like I said, e like I said, this is again not only that, not only this is perfect body UI Daniel that literally just got done beating little UI Daniel, but also both Warren and Jerry and even Bosco are worn out from their fights as well. So, in, in retrospect, they, they, they are not in a good condition to fight this man, UI Daniel, at all. So, bro, th at this point, this is basically a death sentence for them. Bro, again, dog, these guys are trying. And I mean, they are trying. But, bro, UI Daniel is just copying their movesets and basically just plowing through them, dog. Even with teamwork, this man, Daniel, is just bodying them. And I mean, bodying them. They're, he is just countering everything that they are doing, bro. Like... Even trying to literally all going in at once, bro. The one v three is getting is is just being biblical, and bro already got them. Like bro already learns the CQC, and at this point, it's basically just over. However, bro, we have a hero. We have a real one coming through to the cut, bro. UI Daniel senses the great challenger himself, the man, the legend. The GOAT, G. Young Park, bruh. Man somehow came back to his senses. Because man was on a crazy hot tilt. Thanks to the GOAT, Jake. Bro got his whole, you know, iconic red headband. And bro is about ready to A, bruh. Uh, so you the one that's causing all this craziness? All right, time to dole out some justice. But bro, you high Daniel Dick did not waste any time. He's just going straight for this man, G Young, bro. Man's getting blasted for real. And bro is like, damn, I, I knew you were suspicious from a moment ago. 
it was strange that you had no identity, nor family, nor nothing. And I couldn't even understand that perfect body of yours. Like, I injected almost every single drug impossible to you. But none of them just worked on you. And you just somehow just came into this state for some bloody reason. Bro, this man Ji Young was looking like he was about to get beat the frick down. But nah, bro, Ji Young had, you know what I'm saying, always got some sly with him, bro. He's like, nah, <laughs> you really thought you was going to try to get this easy win off me, you fascinating little twerp? Nah, this is the first time since I'm actually finding someone of a current gen properly. <laughs> and not even the first gen, but the second. He, and bro, and already while fighting this man, bro, Ji Young already knows that this man is just as powerful, if not more powerful than the pre-generation. I'm talking like generation from the from Gabriel Kim's gang type B, bro. Like this is like the ultimate confirmation we got in this freaking chapter, bro. And dog, my man Ji Young is out here fighting this man. But bro, UI Daniel is also copying, not only copying, but copying to perfection of what this man Gabriel Kim is doing, bro. Because keep in mind, we've seen a little bit that Ji Young Park is also has a copy ability too. So kind of low key hinting at that Daniel and Ji Young are kind of like father and son. But hey, again, we haven't really got the, the true confirmation, but deep in our hearts, we already know it, bro. And my man, Ji Young's like, oh, so you really, really trying to cop, copy, copy me. You trying to copy me, copy my version of Gap Young Kim and make it into your own and make it 10 times better. That's one messed up's line of succession. Now I can see why these little boys was having so much trouble beating you. But you know, I've had a whole bunch of experience copying mother effers. So you, you seem awfully confident. But can you really copy... A man who has copied all pre-generation and first generation fighters in his past. And bro, just look at the shadow. Like, you can only I can you can only summarize just how much of a demon G Young Park is. Cause like if this man's copying ability goes even above and beyond that, you can you can honestly say that man could possibly even if even more so. Be a little bit, if not way powerful than in some of the other fish, fish, fish gang fighters in Gap Young Kim's gang. Like, Elite, baby. Tom Lee. Again, it, it's a possibility, bruh. And Ji Young is just, look at this, look at this aura, bruh. And already, both of them are just going at it once again. Like, bro, it, it's looking like a freaking dog fight. But fast forward a little bit, it's looking like a wash, bro. Like, UI Daniel pretty much beats Ji Young right here. But this man, Ji Young's like, well, <laughs> I, may have now, I may not beat you in terms of raw power and strength and abilities and technique, but I beat you in terms of <laughs> just being a sly little, little fox. <laughs> <laughs> and bro basically injects this man with a little sleep sleepy time freaking injection and basically actually gets the win bro g young park the legend the goat the the, the i'm gonna say he's him he's him bro literally beats ui freaking perfect body ui daniel Literally the man who was literally undefeated all the all the way up until now has finally been defeated. Like, bro. That is an accomplishment in itself. What clap it up for G Young, bro. Even though yo it, you is still crazy, bro. You you got it, Chief. But all in all, bro, that is pretty much it for this video, bro. I, I know it's been a minute. I know it has been a, sh a while since I've dropped a look at some disrespectful moments, but hey, these these disrespectful moments are gonna come come now a little bit more frequently, and I and after like a dull the next disrespectful moment video, I'm gonna be a compiling. All of the Lucasm characters that have done the most craziest disrespectful moments and give them their old, their official 
titles. I'm talking like there are legit official titles in the Lucas Universe, bro. I'm gonna keep it. They're their very own disrespectful titles, dog. Just to cement it and just finalize it for 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 officially for good this time. So be ready for those videos, bro, cause it's gonna be a lot. But anyways, that's pretty much it for this video. So I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please like this video, comment down below. In the comments down below, what is a disrespectful moment that you want me to cover that I haven't covered yet? Let me know in the comments. Share this video across this week and subscribe if you're new to my channel. This is Flash Like signing out. As always, thank you guys so much for watching.